Welcome back to my channel and thank you for the 100 subscribers guys. I really want to show you this tutorial because I feel like I've watched every single lace closure install video there is on YouTube and every time I go back to try it, it doesn't work. Either it lifts, it buckles, or it moves, which makes me think that maybe some people are lying about the technique that they actually use behind the camera. So I thought of the most efficient and smartest way to install a closure and it actually works guys so I am ready to show you my technique. So the first part is sewing the closure to the braid and you're going to start close to where the parting is just sewing it down until the closure gets flat and you're going to see that everything we do to the left side will be done to the right and everything we do to the right side will be done to the left. You never do just one thing to one side. You have to do it to both so it can be even, secure, and flat. The second step will be sewing around the perimeter and you're going to see that I sew on the right side and then move to the left side and then come back to the right side and then go back to the left side until I meet in the middle. And I do this just to make sure that it's flat and there's no air bubbles in between the braids and the closure. And guys, I know it looks like my hand is just chilling up there. No, my hand is cramping. When they say you need to pull this tight so it can be as flat as possible, you need to tug that closure just to ensure that that hair will look like it's growing from your client's scalp. I just want to let you guys know that this is her second time using this closure and hair so I don't normally have the hair already parted before the closure is finished I do that at the end but as you can see the closure is starting to come together but there is some lifting going on so I'll show you how to get that as flat as possible For step 3, we'll be using two pieces of the shortest bundle to add more security to the closure. So first I take my needle and I go through the braid and the closure and then a couple of times just through the closure until I get to the very end. After this, I'll be attaching one of the pieces of the shortest bundle to the very end of the closure, making sure it's secure so I go around about two times. And then I'll be going around the track, not the braid, just around the track until I get to about her temple. That's when I'll start attaching the track to the braid. And make sure you're pulling tight so that the closure can be laying down as you're doing this step.
For this step, you're gonna part the hair on the very first braid, and you're just gonna have your client pull gently on the hair that's closest to her face as you sew down on that braid. For this final step, I like to call it tug of war because we'll be using a little tension to add more security to the closure. So first, I put my needle through the very bottom of the closure, not the track that we had attached in step 3, but the bottom of the closure, making my way higher up towards the middle part and down and out back at the bottom of the closure. And I repeat this process until I find myself getting higher up towards the middle part and I can see that the closure is starting to get tighter and more flat. As you can see, I am really tugging at the front of that closure and it is not moving at all. It is very, very secure. So please try this out at home and let me know how it goes for you in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and good luck.